Hello, everybody. Welcome to my channel, 1111 Butterfly Effect, where transformation happens, knowledge is power, and the divine is at work. Thank you all for joining my divine spirit and I here tonight at the table. And tonight we're going to do some weekend wisdom. We're going to ask the oracles to join us at the table for some weekend wisdom for the divine connection. To get some direction for the divine feminines and the divine masculines on this twin flame journey. Yes, indeed. We need some direction. Our GPSs are off the mark right now because of what's going on. So tonight, um, we're going to receive our messages from a fairly new deck of mine uh, that I've been working with. Sacred Traveler Oracle Deck by Denise Lynn. And... Uh, very beautifully illustrated as well. So we're going to see what kind of direction we can receive tonight from the Sacred sacred Traveler Oracle. We're going to confirm and clarify that message, those messages, with my very own Twin Flame Journey deck. One of two decks I'm creating right now. They're in development stages, getting illustrations uh, worked out. And getting them all ready to go to print. Uh, this is my Twin Flame Journey Yellow Brick Road Oracle deck. And it's going to be beautifully illustrated. I can't wait till these get done. Yes. And that's for clarity and confirmation. And we're going to get a final word from the Universe Has My Back Oracle deck here. And uh, may get something else if we have enough time, but we'll see. Right now, let's just get right to it because time is precious indeed. And we're finding that out right now, just how precious it really is. And I hope you all are utilizing your time, your precious time wisely during this really epic time in the beginning of the 20th century or the 21st century or with 2020 the year of our clear vision perfect vision 2020 right and here we are in the beginning of the second quarter of 2020 and let's just see if we can just think positive stay focused on our objective on the results we want Everybody, if we just stay focused, we can get through this and get through this quickly and safely. So on that note, we've saged, we've cleared, we've pre-shuffled. Let's do some more shuffling and get right to this weekend wisdom for the divine connection. Yes, my divine spirit and the sacred traveler oracle, please join us here at the table and offer us up this divine connection some weekend wisdom, some direction uh, for the days ahead that uh, the Divine Feminine, the Divine Masculine need to hear for their, to navigate through this journey. So, while I'm shuffling and asking my Divine Spirit and the Oracle for their wisdom, please concentrate on your person and your question. You know, basically, we are asking for some weekend wisdom, some direction for this connection. For the weekend ahead and the days to follow. <clears throat> um, for the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine on this Twin Flame journey. Yes, my Divine Spirit and the Sacred Traveler offers up some direction for this weekend coming up, the beginning of April 2020, if you want to put a date on it. Otherwise, this is good for whenever you listen to it. And however it applies to you, please apply it. If it doesn't fit, move on. Lots of good readers out there and channelers with messages and 
guidance for the journey. So go with what feels good with you. Go with what's ringing inside, you know, you. Go with what, you know, uh, flows with your journey, right? So on that note, the cards are kind of feeling sticky. So I think it's time to pick some cards out. This deck's a little different. So we're going to try and see if I'm going to go with the layout prescribed, right? Thank you, my divine spirit, sacred traveler. Here we go. Please offer us up some wisdom and direction for the divine connection for the weekend coming up. <clears throat> and offer us, you know, the tools and guidance we need to navigate through this journey, this twin flame journey. Here we go. Bottom of the deck, overall energy, breaking trail, a breakthrough is at hand. You see that? Breaking through, a breakthrough is at hand. The overall energy for this connection, the weekend coming up. Let's see here. Oh. Valiant Courage, Navigating by the Stars, and Desert Passage. Very interesting. And as we said, the bottom of the deck, Breaking Trail. Very interesting indeed. So, yesterday, today, tomorrow, past, present, future, the current situation, the action we need to take, and the results. Let's just see how the story plays out, right? Take action with passion. Valiant courage. So, look. The night is coming in. Hmm? Looks like the, you know, there's a storm back there. He's walking right into it. With courage. You know, he must. They must. Divine feminine, divine masculine. You've been, uh, you know, hitting some tough spots and going through some storms and some towers. But you're, you know, taking the hits. And, you know, being brave and courageous. And it's, you know, paying off. It's bringing you to the next levels, the next chapters of your life, the next cycles. You know, things are ending and new beginnings are taking place. Allowing you, you know, to move forward using your intuition intuition and your discernment and your divine connection with the divine and your higher self you know moving forward navigating by the stars following your bliss is the action taken the current activity
you know, moving you forward. Here, desert passage. Trust there's a divine plan. Even though it looks like a long journey, Okay, look, the path is clear, and the sun is shining, right? The sun, you know what that means. So let's see what is going on here. Hmm. These are new cards, so I'm still getting uh, the energy going on here from the cards. So I'm going to read a little as well. This isn't the time to be timid or hold back. Gather your inner resources and go forward gallantly with your banner of truth waving in the wind. Throw your shoulders back and move forward fearlessly. Take risks. It's okay to feel afraid. Just don't let it stop you. Don't play safe. Opportunities will pass you by otherwise. And there's been, op been some opportunities missed. Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine. Because you're playing it safe. Because you're afraid to speak up, to move forward. Sometimes some things do take action. Opportunities will pass you by if you don't. Speak up for yourself. Honor your truth. You are the light bearer for others. Through your example, people find an act on their truth with courage and grace. You're the beacon of light and you, you know, like what's contagious, like love is contagious, hate is contagious. Courage and bravery is contagious, okay? Definitely. Right? So, current circumstances, you're moving forward. And you're changing people's lives as you change your life. Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine, you're helping each other change. As is part of the divine plan, <laughs> right? Navigating the stars, by the stars, excuse me. Navigating by the stars. Let's see. Trust your gut. Have faith that a higher power is directing your life. Believe it. Allow your life decisions to be dictated by what opens your heart and by what brings you joy. Not by what you have to do or what other people tell you to do. Relax. Be patient. Follow your bliss. Your life is divinely guided. Let go and it will flow. Surrender to the plan and it will unfold. All is going according to the wonderful plan for your life. Be confident that all is well. You know? The path is clear. Again, the path is clear. Okay? The path is clear. Divine's got your back, okay? Yes, there's some unknowns out there, but you have all you need. You have your staff, you have your pack, 
your cap, right? You're moving forward towards your divine path, and you are trusting it. And that is going to bring you to your abundance, okay? Like I've always said, okay? The A's have it. When you allow it, you accept it. When you accept it, you align with divine, the divine plan, your divine self. When you do all that alignment, you're attracting your abundance, all the rewards, all your gifts promised. And that includes your divine partner, sacred union, right? The A's have it, people, I'm telling you. You follow that A list. That's, you know, you can't go wrong, really. So follow your bliss. What is your bliss? What do you want to attract in your life? What is your abundance, your heart's desire? Well, if you're on this twin flame journey and you're trusting in the divine plan, your heart's desire should be what? Your mission work? Okay, service, love, right? Divine connection, sacred union, the bonus, right? There's a lot to be done before you get to that bonus. So, if this was in the past or right now, current spot you're in, have courage to move forward into your unknown. The path is clear, even though it's maybe stormy and bumpy. You've got divine on your back here, watching your back as you move forward, bringing you to and through to your divine destiny. Okay. Desert passage. Trust there's a divine plan for your life. There is. If you are on this twin flame journey, you are in on a divine uh, journey. This is a divine connection, divine plan, divine journey. No way to slice it. No other way to slice it. Truly. Desert passage. Funny how I live in the desert that this card is flipping, but I, there are no coincidences, okay? We're all on this journey, and we're all in this together. I'm talking about what's happening right now, current, current events. Desert passage. Trust there's a divine plan. Even if it seems that life has areas of barrenness, barrenness, like the desert is barren. Beneath the surface, life is transforming in accordance with your highest good. Trust that you are guided, even if it doesn't always seem like it. There are spiritual guides, allies, and angels surrounding you. Listen with your heart. Act on your instincts. Believe that the messages you are being given are in your highest good. Get down to the basics. Trust what you feel. Interesting, huh? You know, the desert path can seem like a vast wasteland. You know, isolation. We're in isolation right now, okay? It is in an, in an isolation. And while you're in isolation, immense insights and intuition can emerge. So right now... Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine, you do have an opportunity during this lockdown and isolation to, you know, enhance 
your intuition. Bring insights forth on this for you on this journey through this this message right here. Okay? In times of old, sages and visionaries retreated into the desert to connect more deeply with spirit. If in the past you trusted your instincts and then later it seemed to be a mistake, don't let that keep you from trusting your intuition now. Often those things that are that we thought were mistakes in the past, in hindsight, were the best things possible for us. As you open to your intuition, you will sense messages from and the loving presence of your spirit guides and ancestors. There is a potent plan for your life. Trust that. Hmm. Interesting indeed. Okay. Now, breaking trail, that's the energy, the overall energy, bottom of the deck. A breakthrough is at hand. Breaking trail. You're at the beginning of a breakthrough. Everything you've been doing for the past few years has been in preparation for what's ahead. There are instances when the path isn't clear ahead. And in those moments, sometimes you need to break trail. In your life, it may seem that the path disappears. However, the only way to reach your destination is to push through. Keep going. Do things in a new way. Imagine a woman giving birth. It's hard, but through her great effort, a baby comes into being. Something new and exciting is coming into your life. Wow, huh? It's not about following the path, but creating your own trail. It's time to stop standing on the edge of life and just take a leap. Your patience is going to pay off. Old limitations and inner blockages are dropping away. Don't let fear keep you from moving forward. This truly is the time to allow yourself to experience the fear, but do it anyway. Hmm. Something for which you've waited for a long time is about to come to, to fruition. Don't be afraid to jump in, the in with both feet. Your efforts will help create a trail for others. <laughs> Breaking trail. And right behind that is wise leader you are a beacon for others okay wise leader divine feminine divine masculine together you're an you're one freaking power couple i'm telling you okay because one's you know an emperor one's an empress one's a high priestess one's a magician take your pick how you couple up there Okay, because there you are, right there. If you can see it. Power couple, breaking through and wise leader. A breakthrough is at hand, divine feminine and divine masculine. It's, it's here. It's happening. You're a leader. You carry a what? You carry a... You are a leader. You carry a wisdom and radiance that inspires others. Even if you're not always aware of the depth of wisdom within you, it's emerging by leaps and bounds. This is the time to step into your power and take a role of leadership. You're ready. Grab the reins. Make decisions. It's okay if you're not 100% sure. Make decisions anyway. It's what a leader does. Sorry about the card glare there. On the journey, it's easy to tell who the leaders are. Indeed. Okay. And Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine, you mirror each other. Okay. So, you know, I wish I had better lighting, you guys. Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. 
you know, one yes is usually the leader, but you trade off, okay? Once you have union, in the beginning, you know, it's chase and be chase. Chase and runner. Runner, chaser. Then it changes, and then uh, it goes back and forth. Then the feminine becomes the leader, and the divine masculine is the follower, uh, you know, behind in the mirror image. The closer they get to mirror image and reflection, the closer they are to union and balance. And as soon as the scale's balanced and the mirrored reflection is the same, boom, there's union, right? That's how that works. So, dare I di digress a little, huh? Okay. Inner grace that glows from within. Others travel on the pathways that the leaders have created. You know, divine feminine and divine masculine, those of you who are about to have union or just went into union, end of 2019, beginning of 2020, you are the leaders of the twin flames that are coming. Okay? You are setting precedent. You are cutting the path on the trail for that, these next groups of twin flames to come up on. And, you know, start their journey and get through their journey in one piece and, and end up on mission and with sacred... Uh, 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 divine connection and the sacred union bonus, right? I'm babbling here, and I don't want to so go so involved in these cards, but gosh, I'm just really loving these cards. The wise leader holds up the flame as a torch for others in the darkest of nights, but the leader also listens to the beat of their own drum grab the reins of life on your on your terms don't live to please and appease others divine feminine divine masculine that's not going to get you in mission and union to the detriment of your own needs don't do it this is not what a leader does live without regrets okay man I'm really liking these cards. Oh, and the next card, uncovered, uncovering treasure. Beneath the surface lies great bounty. Oh my gosh. These cards are awesome. All right, let's get into some quick clarity confirmation for this journey here. That's the divine feminine, and the divine masculine on. And you know that those... Uh, that are about to go into union. Uh, you know, the energy is <clears throat> getting, I don't know what's the right word, you know, powered up. You know, it's, it's like the engine's revving before you slip the clutch or put it in gear, right? It's that uh, engine revving noise. Vroom, vroom, right? Getting ready. That's what it feels like, you know, to move forward, you know, on this plan. And be in union and break trail and be the beacon for others. Look at that, you know. Divine Feminine is holding the light and the wand while the Divine Masculine cuts the trail and does all the heavy work, huh? <laughs> well, either way it goes, you're helping each other. That's what's going on there. All right. Yes, back to my Divine Spirit. Thank you. Sacred Traveler Oracle, how wonderful that reading was, that message. Very interesting how the direction of this divine connection is heading in. Everybody is doing their work and following their bliss, which is the divine plan, because that is the ultimate bliss for Twin Flames. Okay? You follow the plan, we know that the destination is... Not the final destination, but 
the bonus destination is Sacred Union. You know, to be in mission together. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. And if you're lucky to be on this part of this collective that are coming into union, then blessed be, get ready, because you're going to be busy. Busy, busy. <laughs> Woohoo! All right, here we go. Let's get a little bit of clarity and confirmation for this. Weekend wisdom for the divine connection on this twin flame journey. Thank you, divine spirit. Offers up some weekend wisdom confirmation for this sacred traveler oracle message. Yes, I know. We forgot to cut the deck. Okay. I like yelling at me, cut the deck. Okay. <laughs> okay, here we go. Intuition, number nine, of course. Follow your bliss, navigating by the stars, Twist, trusting the plan, using your intuition, right? And, you know, nine. You know, we all, you know, know different things about our numbers. You know, nine is about completion and achievement. <laughs> you know, the next thing after that is 10, which breaks down to one new beginning. So, you know, you're ready, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. You, you have done the steps. You've taken the next step to completion, right? Navigating the stars and heading down your path, your journey, your yellow brick road. Look at that. Yellow brick road. Follow, 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 follow your yellow brick road. Right? Completion. Okay. I mean, look, I didn't move the cards. I didn't <laughs> make this up here. Or This is some real stuff here. I told you. My deck is just so on point with confirmation clarity. Completion, 10, 9, 10. Okay, intuition, completion. 10 breaks down to what? Uh, one new beginning. Okay, let's see what the third card's going to be. Yes, acceptance. Because you've allowed this journey to begin You've allowed this connection to take place. You've accepted this divine connection. You, you've accepted it as a real thing. And you're aligning with it. With the divine and the divine plan. 24, that breaks down to a 6. Which, in my book, 6 is about to love and to be loved. Love, love, love. Right? Beautiful confirmation here. Okay? Nine, ten, couldn't get any better than that to blend, right? So, there will be no more of that. Denial and deception is over, okay? Because you've accepted it. Okay, you've... you've had some co completion here. Okay? So this denial and deception, that's over with. Done. Over. Over, over. Right? Done and over with. And that was a 30, breaks down to a 3. That's a divine number. Okay? Trinity. Divine connection. Divine plan. Divine. Alright, let's get some final word here with... Oh, my divine spirit says no, no, no. Let's pull out one of the other new decks. Uh, 
Well, I'm just gonna go with that affirmation, okay? It's looking good here, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. I mean, union is inevitable. All we gotta do is step forward. <laughs> Step into our power and uncover our treasure. That is what's next. You want some weakened wisdom and some, some direction, divine feminine and divine masculine? Here you go. Step into your power and uncover your treasure because it's here. Okay? Waiting beneath the surface lies great bounty. <laughs> Just waiting for you, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. Look. She's hold, holding the light, Divine Feminine, for the Divine Masculine to uncover it. Look at that. So, what's the final word here, right? Well, let's see. Thank you, my divine spirit and universe. Please offer us some final words for this weakened wisdom for the divine connection. Thank you, oracles and my divine spirit for all the wisdom you offer and the direction, you know, the turning our GPS on. Our twin flame journey GPS is kicking in, people. Thank God. Yes. Thank you, spirit. There's another card in there. All right, here we go. What do we got? I create mindful moments throughout the day, reminding myself that I am love and miracles are natural. My vibes speak louder than my words. Stay positive, divine fe feminine and divine masculine. Stay focused, okay? Don't let anything, person, place, or thing, distract you. Okay? Because the divine plan is at work here. And people are going to try. Very hard. Okay? Energy flows where my intentions go. Energy flows where my intention goes. So stay focused, Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine, because you are so close right now. There are a lot of energies that are going to try and distract you from, or just, you know, distract you from your path, from, you know, to uh, <clears throat> deviate off path. Don't let that happen. Stay focused. When you when I lean towards love, I am led. Mr. Bill Withers, uh, an American uh, musician, passed away today, and one of his songs was "Lean on Me." Right? When I lean toward love, when you lean toward your divine counterpart, divine masculine or divine feminine. When you lean toward your love, you are led. When you lean toward divine connection, you are led. Okay? You've accepted it, divine feminine, divine masculine. 24, that breaks down to a 6. That's you're ready to love and be loved. Right? You have allowed it to happen. You've accepted it. You've aligned with it. Okay? You've attracted it. Now your abundance, it's, it's here. All you gotta do is step into your power and uncover your treasure. Right? Your path is lit. 
You have all you need. Go for it. Right? That's it. Step into your power and uncover your treasure. Let's go like that. Wise leader breaking trails. Right? That's much better. Wise leader breaking the trail, stepping into power, uncovering the treasure. That's a good direction. Looks like the GPS is working great. Follow your path. Stay focused. Divine feminine, divine masculine, and you'll get through this in perfect harmony. Thank you all for joining. My divine spirit, the oracles and I here at the table for tonight's weekend wisdom for the divine connection. For the to off Offer direction for the Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine on this Twin Flame journey. I hope this fixes your GPS. Stay focused. Stay home. Stay well. Much love, everybody. Thanks again for being here. And if you like what you see in here, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, stay focused. It's happening. Bye-bye.